Hello, this is Crafty Crafty, and today we are playing another episode of Corrected New Horizons Season 2. And this episode, we're gonna do an, an, a really important device, actually. And before that, let me just introduce you some new friends. That we add one more line to our uh, chemical area. That one basic alloy smelter and one basic fluid extractor that gives us molten soldering iron with a provider pipe. So we don't need that much soldering iron at, at the time, so I'm directly pulling from the machine itself. And it goes to nowhere at the moment, but I can just pull anywhere I want. Also, uh, you rem remember this guy, that we add all the recipes here. And also we have this guy, which we had add diodes, but also I added machine holes, because they require multi polyethylene and they do not care about the circuit. So yeah, and this guy doesn't have any fluid, it's crafts those guys and it doesn't have any fluids and it's on circuit 8 and this guy circuit 24 molten rubber that means it's the cable man also i added to the end because i want to add one and two more to it so yeah and i added one one more wire mill and one more bending machine for different circuits and added some recipes to that, especially to this. And I added this recipe to this guy too. So we are good. <laughs> we are good. You already saw what we are going to uh, do this episode. Vacuum freezer. Which is another multi-block, and it's actually an amazing, uh, it's fun, it's really fun uh, multi-block, that I really like. And it will help us with co better cooling and not using this guy all the time and it's cool. uh, replenish the coolant and yada yada. Anyway, I think I'm going to put this guy here. So, let's look at its uh, design. So, yeah, I will put the maintenance hatch here and energy hatch. I'm going HV now, but I think this most recipes can could use ME. Yeah, most recipes can use ME, but I will use HV. And we just need to provide power to it, and I'm working on it. We need silver cables. We just need silver cables. And as you can see, the crafting process is here. We can see everything here. I really like this system. <laughs> uh, anyway, we will just wait. And now the pistol resistance, the generator, and no boom. That's good. That's good. We don't want boom. And now what we're gonna need is this guy, and hit it with this. Okay. Now machine is one hundred percent. Okay. Now, what we're gonna do need is something hot. Also, let me just claim this reward and eat my ice cream. And let's open this. Integrated logic and box seed. That's actually the first time we received a useful seed for a really, really, really long time. Whoops. Uh, that was not something I would like to do, but anyway. 
Uh, let's put you here. Boxia seed. That's actually good. Really good, really good. I wanted that. We're gonna make Nichrom. A lot of Nichrom. But the problem is I don't have Chrome at the moment, so it should wait. It should wait. And uh, I will do a Chrome processing. Actually, we can do it this episode. Yeah. And I will do a really, really interesting Chrome processing lie. But let me just think about it for a second and then we will continue. And now, what we're gonna do is... First, uh, we should have some ruby here. Redstone ore. No, I don't have. I think I used all my ruby. Yeah. Yeah, I did. By the way, uh, actually, I have to add a processing way of redstone too. But let's actually... Activate our new miner first. Now, uh, what I'm going to do is also something interesting. This compressed chess. And for that, I also gonna need this with this. Thank you. So, the dark steel plate. Okay, our dark steel chest is ready, and let me just show the difference between that. This is this area of this, and this is area of this. Slightly larger. By the way, a small explanation. Why do we have uh, inputs and outputs like this? Because I'm planning to turn it into a multiple uh, shape, wall sharing. Uh, so... We will add one more here, and they will both use same input and output. So yeah, maybe same energy hatch, because I can provide 2 amp, and it can just use 1 amp or 1. And the obsidian chest is also ready, let's scan that. I'm not going to show the, its inventory, because it's same as the diamond one, but ju uh, it's just blast proof. And the electric piston is ready, and we will wait for 30 seconds. And let me just show you this guy. You will love this guy. This compressed chest, and let me just scan this. Yeah. Compressed chest is something quite useful. It, ha it holds its inventory. So, no more carrying things one by one by one by one. Just stick them to Tingimajigi and they will be on their way of doing things for us. Now, what I need to do is... Actually, I should uh, dig a redstone way. So, let's look at it. I also need to dig a manganese vein too. Uh, this is empty, so let me just delete it. Just, I uh, need this. I love this uh, feature. And whoosh to our redstone or vein. Put the pipes of not fluids, but in item auto output, and this way. And then benzene. Voila! It's, it works! It's much faster and much more uh, wider area-wise. And let's do this. Okay, uh, we have our miner set up. Now I just want need to do this. Voila! Chunk loaded. And... Let's put a minor waypoint here. It will just get some redstone and ruby for us. Okay, for ruby uh, thingy, 
What we're gonna need is first an advanced mixer. And second device is it's crafting. Uh, it's on the motors and it should be ready any minute. Yeah. The sec both of them are coming. One and two should be arriving now. Yep. Voila! Advanced centrifuge and uh, the, the other thingy. So, let's put them here. It should be a good spot for them. Advanced mixer. You go here and advanced centrifuge. You go here. And toolbox, uh, screwdriver, allow input from output side. Because one of the fluids are going to be uh, reused there. Now, what we need is Ruby. Uh, Ruby. Okay. Uh, Ruby or Ruby or processing. You need crash Ruby ore and purified Ruby ore. Nice. And also, I think I should have an ore washing plant. Ore washing plant. Uh, how fast is it? Yeah, uh, let's just go with bear now. Uh, we will add later. Okay. Now, let's add uh, ore washing, uh, this guy to ore washing. Ah, Ruby is already ore washed. Nice. And let's get a, actually, I don't think we need I, some sink uh, drill for that. We can just use basic fluid, yeah, basic pipe, pipe for that, and not basic fluid pipe, but basic pipe. And it should work, theoretically. And you... Oh, basic logistics pipe. Uh, we need one more basic logistics pipe because the input is at the... There's an intersection. Always put basic logistics pipes on intersections, guys. It will confuse the system otherwise. Okay, now, if I do this, and select Purified Ruby. Any Purified Ruby entering the system should go there. Now, after that, it's just this guy. Purified Ruby. Mixer. Yes, this is the recipe we want. And then, this is the recipe we want. Uh, hydrochloric acid, come here. Yeah. Uh, let's put four because it will be 100% uh, renewable. And we're also gonna need sodium hydroxide. Sodium hydroxide. Thank you. Let's get 20, 24 now. Uh, we will automate this process in the future, but currently it's just passive. Uh, and not passive, but uh, it's just manual at the moment. And let me just uh, look at... Oh. Uh, let me just look at the miner, and it should have some ruby. Okay, we have some ruby. And just fly... Fly me to the moon, let me... Actually, we will, we will fly to the moon. Not yet, but eventually. Okay, and if I put this to the system, you go here. Also, let me just shut down this. Okay, it goes there. Now, uh, we just need to provide power. Here, 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 and here. With this. And wire cutter, here. Yes, it starts working, and we should... By the way, I will connect this guy to here, eventually. 
and yes, and a fluid at output, and also fluid at output here. It's working! Now we just need to put everything to the output chest. Okay, now we just need this guy. And also I forgot the unrooted pipes. Of course I did. Of course I did. Basic unrooted. Come here. And let's connect everything up to the system. Actually, I can just connect from here. And chassis is connected to this. Okay. And just this. Thank you. And extractor mark two. Voila. It's it shouldn't uh, it doesn't need to be fast, but yep, yeah, we got some chrome. And what we need is some better, uh, some more Ruby, a uh, crash Ruby. So yeah, our Ruby processing is also done. done. <laughs> With logistics pipes. And what we also need is actually ore washing plants. I just realized that. We are gonna need more ore washing plants. Uh, some ore washing plants because we will use an old friend of ours. Uh, we will get redstone ore. And we actually, let's look at the processing line. Ah, we don't need... We just need to profile it. So it's we don't need... But we're gonna need a, a centrifuge. Yeah. We're gonna need a centrifuge for it. And centrifuge needs... How long it takes? Oops. And I am keep doing this. Okay. 38, uh, 40, uh, 34 seconds on low voltage. And so, yeah, we're going to use higher voltage ones. Luckily, we have some. And I think I'm going to start working on this area. And we are finally going to connect this area to our actual store uh, thingy eventually. So yeah, <laughs> we're, we're starting to uh, work on some strange stuff. And after a while, I will upgrade those guys to better ones. And those areas I actually do work quite well, so I didn't ha need, had any need to upgrade them to electrical ones, but I will eventually. So, let's uh, finish this episode here. We made our Ruby processing and we made our vacuum freezer, but didn't use it yet because we don't have uh, we don't have any Chrome, but we will have now. So, this is Scrafty Scrafty, and have a nice day.